Hey guys, 2020 Eagle Man here with part two of the AVS Video Editor tutorial series. Uh, this topic is going to be about the video effects. So we're going to start out with explaining what video effects are. Uh, video effects is this second line right here. It's right under the main main line of video. And what it does is it affects the main video. Um, that's It will only affect the main video. So let's start off by importing a video. Um, let's use this. So we're going to use that video. We're going to zoom in so we can see some detail. <clears throat> so these are the video effects that you can choose from. Um, there's not a lot to choose from, but it does a wide range of stuff you can do. Um, what it does is you start off by adding one of these. I'm just going to use the color exchange, which is actually my favorite. And you can only drag it to the video effects line. So you just drag it right there. And you see nothing right now. Nothing changed from the original video. So what you can do is you can press this button right there that says Edit Effect. And what it does is it will open up a window and it gives you options. It says Color 1 and Color 2. What it does is you press the button in the middle and you just select a color that you want to exchange into Color 2. So let's just pick out this kind of maroon color right there and see it already changed the color. It's going to go to this bright red, but let's change that bright red to a white. So there you go. So now we use that video effect to change that maroon color into a white color. So that's what color exchange will do. Um, I'm not going to be going through all of what these video effects can do. I'm just showing you how you can edit them. Um, another one that can be used is the wind option. Um, it adds like a wind effect can see right there it's kind of hard to see on this video but again you can right click on the video effect and you can edit it or you can press that edit effect button um, on effects like these you can apply a mask to it let's drop that down you can make it a rectangle mask an ellipse mask or your own custom polygon which you can transform into all types of shapes to match whatever you want to do you can change the direction of the wind and you can change how dense it's going to be. So there you go, let's see the effect. There's the polygon that we use and there's the wind. Uh, it's kind of hard to see with this. So, so now let's say you're in a predicament where you have plenty of video effects filled up in this line and you want to add another effect under this video effect. So what you can do is you can right click on that line and click add line. It adds another video effect line where you can add more effects that will both affect the video. So there you go. Um, I'll actually show you what this gray out one does. Oh, I think I just crashed. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, we had a little problem there. But I'm going to show you what this gray out effect does. So we're going to edit this effect. And what it does is you pick out a color on here just like the colorized one and you just pick it out and what it does is it grays everything else out except for that color plus you can add more filters to it and how dense you want it to be of course you can apply a mask to where you want that gray part so you can add all sorts of colors to edit this video so there you have it uh, let's see another one is uh, Ken Burns this is a unique effect that we can do I'm just going to delete these so we have more space um, I'm going to drag this Ken Burns into here and you notice that the video is already zoomed in. What this does is it's kind of like a zoom in kind of thing and it has the, um, uh, I don't know how to say it, like a, a scope kind of thing right there to edit it. And then you can change, uh, I believe the green part is the starting area and then what it's showing right now is the red part is the ending area. So that's where it's going to, the green part is going to zoom out to the red area. Or you can change it so the green part is zooming into the red area. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to have it zoom in to the red area. So there you go. It's kind of hard to see on this video, but it is zooming in. Let's start there. And it zooms in. And there you go. So that's Ken Burns. Now there's an effect very similar to that, except there's no motion. Oh, let's see if I can find it here. It's called Zoom. What it does is it just zooms into the video. Uh, there's no Ken Burns, although there is a fade-in effect where it does do that. It zooms in. 
Um, another thing that I forgot to say uh, is what you can do is you can right click on these effects and press fade in so they just transition into it more easily instead of just popping up in there. So like this ripple effect, instead of just being there, uh, we all right, sorry about that. Had another difficulty there. Um, so another unique effect that we could do is called a snow effect. And what this snow does, as you probably saw it in the basic overview, is it adds this layer of particles that are falling. Um, you can have them go faster. You can create a mask as to where they fall. Um, a snow drift is where they just pile up as to how long, make how big they are. And I'm pretty sure you can change what type they are. Uh, you can change the color of them, speed, deviation, direction, count, stuff like that. I know there is a way to change what type is falling instead of the, just these snow. Um, I'm going to have to find that later and show you guys, but there's the snow option where it's falling. And then uh, another one of my favorite ones, let's see if we can find it here, is the colorize one, which is much like the color exchange one, except it just has one color. And it changed the whole video to it. And I like to do a fade in on it so it transitions more easily into that. And of course, you can edit the effect, look much like all the other ones. You can change the color of it, and you can change the mask as to where you want that to be. So we turn it into gray, we don't want to do that. So turn it into purple there, and there you go. So transition into that purple. And then if we were to overlay this with the snow, they would both be there, both rectangles. And so um, another one that I would like to show you before we finish this up is the TV simulation one. Uh, this one was kind of an odd one. It just adds like an old TV kind of feel to it. Uh, this is a tough one to edit with all these interline amplitude and offsets and speeds and stuff. Uh, just go ahead and play with it. Uh, set them all to zero and then just change them all at once. See what each one does. So um, this is all I'm going to show you for video effects. Um, if you have any more questions, just go ahead and comment below. Um, there's all types of video effects to choose from. Um, I'll show you these maybe later, but these just add borders to it. You can change the color and size of them. And then these video effects change the shape. Uh, there's all types of tabs that kind of organize them into easier to choose. Just go ahead and play with it, whichever ones you'd like to choose. Um, if you have any questions, again, just comment below. And so there you have it. This is the video effects series for my ABS tutorial video.